Hi there, everyone. Today I'm joined by Lewis Leff, Transportation Safety Officer with Vision Zero. He's going to talk to us a little bit about some of the projects they have going on. We're reducing the speed limits and modifying them on some of those key arterials where people are using those roadways most frequently and that have the highest speeds. We're going to get to a, a pretty consistent, there's some exceptions, but pretty consistent 35 miles per hour. How do we go about warning drivers about the change. I know we're talking about it right now, but so many people are just in their routine, right? You want to go home, you need to make dinner, and you're flying down whatever, you know, residential street you're on. So how do you make people stop and, and notice like, oh, this road is no longer 45, it's 30 now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a big challenge because people are used to routine and a lot of the challenge with driving is just distracted or maybe even just kind of regular routine, mindless driving that we all get into these habits of going down the same roads over and over. And so when something like this changes, we have to do a good job of doing outreach. So we're, we're doing campaigns both through social media and otherwise with, um, with online messaging and making sure that folks are understanding that speed limits are changing. Anybody can go to our austintexas.gov speed management website that, that shows you an interactive map of where those speeds are gonna change over time. Uh, and we just need to do basically a better job of getting videos and messages out, explaining why it's important to have speed management, but also where those changes are happening. And, and if I could mention too, you know, we have a Vision Zero viewer that we've produced to show folks where the crashes are happening, the severe crashes are happening. So it gives people a chance to go online and see where crashes are happening near where they work, where they live and those those trips that they take on a regular basis and see just how how frequent these severe crashes are actually happening around where they are driving on a regular basis. Louis, thank you for joining us today. You can find out more about these safety improvements around our community over at austintexas.gov.